Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to another episode of High Country TV. I'm Jamie, and on today's episode, we're going to do a walk around the old Land Cruiser that I'm setting up for the High Country. So come along with me as I introduce you to the old girl, and you'll see her come out of the backyard where she's been in storage for at least 15 months, and we embark on the uh, fit out for the next, I guess, season of High Country TV, where we actually go into the High Country and do some good four wheel driving. Stay tuned, and hopefully you enjoy the episode. Gonna get the old beast behind me fired up if I can. Been sitting around for the best part of 12 months, I reckon. Judging by the cobwebs on it, you might be in for a bit of a spidery experience. So come and join us as I get the old Land Cruiser out and I start the season off with starting to build it and get it ready to go out into the high country for winter. Will it start? She has life. She lives. For you Nissan fans out there, Toyota reliability at its best. Alright. I think you might have to clean it. What do you reckon? E Yeah, she's definitely got some spiders living in her. How do they? But it lives, it breathes, it goes. It has life, it has it a has soul. Life. There's one there. It's alive! Marvellous. Well, it's still registered. It was in good shape when we took it off the road. The, uh, the price of fuel and the amount of case that I do for a living these days we've got a much more economical vehicle so this will just be a pure toy once I uh, get it up and running again so I've got a whole bunch of mods and I'll show you guys through them very shortly and we'll sit and wait in the garage ready to go that I've already done, fitted a snorkel, as uh, the old girl didn't have a snorkel on it, and I've changed the driving lights. I've given it a clean and got rid of all the cobwebs and uh, all of the horrible matter that's been building up on it over the last 18 months. And I've also installed a different driver's seat because the driver's seat that was in it was a bit collapsed and damaged. Um, Big was already fitted with the UHF, which was in it when I bought it. So at least I don't have to go down that path. Um, future mods, uh, I'm going to be doing a uh, higher suspension lift. Got some adjustable panard rods to put on the old girl. And along with the 
pan over onto, I've got a return us out of the steering damper, which will be good. Uh, hopefully take some of the kickback out of the steering. And I've got some wheels and tyres lined up for it, which I'll also film when I get down to the tyre store. So hopefully within the next couple of weeks, I should be out on the tracks and filming the old girl put back into her glory and getting some uh, really good forward wheel drive trips in and some camping and bring some more episodes to you guys. So... I did forget to mention, we've got a jerry can holder. Slots into the tow bar tongue assembly. It's got a reverse light on or a camping light if we want to set up camp during the dark, which I'll show you when we actually go camping. And there's a catch. Swing her open. It's fully open. Away. It's got a little table that drops down. Like so, nice and neat and tidy. Flips away. And it's all chuck and plated. Actually, it's all uh, pulled with stainless steel. There's a step so I can step up and put stuff up on. The roof rack. So hopefully that all comes in a play on its own. Looking forward to getting to use that. Fabulous piece of kit. And the reason that I went away with a, uh, a swing away is A, I can take it off if I don't need it. It locks away. And B, I don't have to have a really heavy rear bar on the back of the Land Cruiser made out of steel. Wheel carrier just clicks closed because I fixed that up as well because it was all busted and uh, everything stays happy and looks nice and neat and tidy on the back of the car. Fabulous. Hopefully, you guys like it. A couple other tiny little subtle touches. Actually, replaced all the mud flaps. Got them off eBay. You know what? The cheapest chips. They fit, make the car legal. And uh, I think they look really, really good. All four done nicely. Here we have the springs, the return and center steering damper, and the adjustable paddard rods to all go in. So what I'll do is I'll film it as I put them in, and I'll watch the truck go from the height that you've just seen to the height that it used to be when I first bought it with these springs in it, which necessitized the uh, adjustable paddard rods. It's a bit taller than what it is now. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. It's a few of the bits and pieces that I'm going to fit to the car. Panard rods, springs and a steering damper. Hopefully you've enjoyed the show. I'm Jamie from High Country TV. And don't forget to like, subscribe and follow us. All of your inputs are welcome. Please feel free to comment on anything that you'd like to see put on the truck. Because at the end of the day it's an open book. And we'll catch you on the next episode. Cheers guys.